Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this baking video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really easy and really yummy cream cheese frosting. The first thing you need is uh, cream cheese and I'm just going to be using one a block of the big like blocks of cream cheese. Try to work with the best quality cream cheese that you can because that makes a difference. Then I'm just going to be using some whipping cream, one quarter of a cup and again try to use the best quality that you can find. Here comes the powder sugar, rising sugar and I'm just going to be using seven tablespoons of that one. We need some lemon and we're going to be using just half a teaspoon of that. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is adding my cream cheese to my mixing bowl. One thing I would highly suggest is to have your cream cheese kind of like at room temperature, not like super soft because then it's not going to be holding the piping tip when you work with it. But just try to not work it directly from the fridge because then it's going to be like too too cold. But I'm just going to um, mix it until it's creamy. And then to that, I'm just going to add my whipping cream and I'm just going to work it until my whipping cream starts to fluff or just whip. It took me like... Five minutes of this one don't forget to be scraping down the sides as you go because a lot of the times a lot of stuff like gets stuck in the bottom then i'm just going to add the powdered sugar and i'm just sifting this as i add it so if there's any lumps or bumps it's gonna be like removed as i add it i'm just going to finally add my lemon if you love lemon, <laughs> add more than this. Or if you are not a fan of this uh, flavor on your frosting, just add like one quarter of a teaspoon or something, or just less than that. Personal preference, the flavor that you want to go for. And then I just want to mix that in until everything is just incorporated, until I have something that looks like this. This recipe to me is like the best to work with on cupcakes and cakes because not only does it have a good like color you can work with you know gel food coloring but it has like the most incredible flavor to it if you love cream cheese and lemon you're gonna love it but its texture is really amazing because it's creamy and smooth has body to it it's pipeable it's spreadable it's pretty easy to work with and it doesn't melt a lot of the times I just want to work with cream cheese because I'm obsessed with it and I love the flavor that it gives on cupcakes and cakes but I find out it's too um, loose, it melts because of the cream cheese and this one doesn't do that, it holds its shape, it's not gonna crust, that's the only thing that I thought I mentioned but other than that it holds its shape, it's beautiful and it's really really good. I just honestly could eat this thing alone but I just wanted to share with you the recipe, I found it online, it's not mine so if you liked it don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more uh, baking stuff or diys share this one so thank you so much for watching give it a try i know you're gonna like it and uh, i'll talk to you later